Hello and welcome to lesson number 10. It's all about plugins today. We have added and searched for plugins already in some prior lessons, but let's have a look into the plugin manager here in detail. So you see an error warning already. That is due to the fact that I've created or I've added a new plugin repository, but we are somehow um, not able to fetch the metadata in there. Why am I using this? Sometimes you, you would like to use plugins from another repository. Normally the plugins or, or the plugins repository to, from qgis.org is enough and will provide you a lot of plugins. Uh, but sometimes if you're more in a professional way working and you would like to have, manage your own plugin repository, you can add it here. But First things first. First of all, let's have a look here. There's this list of all. Then you have your installed plugins, not installed plugins, so which is still on the repository but not on your computer. Then you have some some plugins that are upgradable. So the package maintainer in this time here, Minoru Akagi has, a has decided to create a new version or upload a new version to the uh, plugin repository, so you can update it there. Uh, then there are some invalid plugins that are, might be on your computer, but they are not valid or they are not, not uh, somehow working with your current QGIS version. And if you have, or if you are interested in installing not from the web, but from a local file, normally every plugin is developed in a repository manager, like in a repository manager like GitHub or GitLab or whatsoever, and they provide you a download function for a zip file. So you can download the zip file and uh, unpack it here, so it will be loaded to your installed plugins. So let's have a look now on the installed ones, and we will go with I don't know, let's have a look here on MMQGIS. MMQGIS has a description, then some sort of rating information according to the users of QGIS. You will always find an author and some more info. So this is quite important. So if you see any changes or any errors in the plugin, you would not be, be trustworthy or it is not working or whatsoever. Always make sure to open up the uh, bug tracker information here, right click is um, imported or is inside the browser here. So that's cool. Um, and uh, there's also the home page uh, of the plugin itself. Sometimes both information is on the same page. So if you are using it within with your HQ, let's do this for example. Um, you can have here the information on the website as well as the bug tracker. So if there are any issues with the plugin itself, you can open this up and you will find the information you need. Let's have a look again on the plugin. So then you can easily turn plugins on and off. If you disable plugins here, they will be not loaded to your QGIS um, project. Well, if you have a lot of plugins enabled, then the loading times of QGIS can go down. That's pity, but it will work. Then you can also search, of course, for uh, for plugins like QGIS. Uh, let's have a look for on the profile tools. If there are any, well, there's a profile tool here from Boris Yogiel and others. Um, so it's just a great idea to use this uh, plugin manager to enrich your everyday tasks. If you have any questions, just drop me a line. I'll answer them right away. Subscribe, take care, and goodbye.